Hi guys, I thought I'd just do a walkthrough on the Herb Crafters Tarot. Um, first of all, I'm in my garden, as you can tell, it's been really boiling, really boiling. It comes in this little squish box. It's quite good, you get the book and the deck. And it is by US Games. And it says on the back, the Herb Crafters Tarot celebrates the handicrafts, tools, and time-honoured folk skills related to herbs, trees, flowers, and other plants that share their gifts with us. This stick and book set explores the relationship between herbs and how people use them for medicine, creativity, ritual, and spiritual guidance. It also considers herbs as archetypes and explores our partnership with the botanical realm. Herbcrafters Tarot is an engaging introduction to herbalism and splant, splant, plant spirit magic and can be used as a profound divinatory tool. This set includes a 78 card deck and a 124 page book full of herbal inspiration and ideas for crafting with the cards. The magic is in the making. So the artwork is by Joanna Powell Colbert. And it's written by Letitia Guthrie. So, first things first, what we'll do is we will look at the book. It's a little book. A bit bigger than sort of hand size. It feels nice. It has um, 120 pages. And it tells you about the creators, about the artwork... The bibli bibliography is at the back. At the front, you've got your contents page. You've got acknowledgement, acknowledgements. I can't talk properly. You've got an introduction, and you've got about the deck. It says we chose herbs for each number according to how they contribute to an ecosystem. One, dooryard herbs and weeds. Two, plants that attract pollinators or animal feed animals. Plants that are easy to grow. Plants for borders and hedges. Plants listed as endangered or threatened by United Plant Savers. Abundantly producing plants. Ancient trees. Root medicine plants. Fruit trees cover crops and composting plants and that's it page on the cards and the correspondences and then we go into the major arcana okay my my cards are not in order um as i have shuffled and I had a bit of a play so you're gonna have to bear with me here so we have got the two of cups or the two of water sorry the two of fire, which is bee balm. I've got to tell you, the cards, they're like, they're not paper, they're like, I don't know if you can hear it. They're like, I can't explain, like card, like, not card, like plasticky. But that's really good, so you know you want to use them outside, that's, that's pretty cool. Let me try them now, and I'm dropping them everywhere, so I'm glad they are. Water of air, lavender, with this side. Yeah, so that'd be the four of swords. Three of pentacles, three of earth. I'm hoping you see that three. I'm trying to get it to focus properly. Nine of wands, which is your wild cherry. Four of fire. Curandera of air. And that's your um, king, I believe. Hang on. I should have sorted this before I started, shouldn't I? Um, let's have a quick look. The Curanderas are healers, which are the kings of your suits then you've got the madres which are the mothers which are the queens 
then you've got the Adelitas, which are your knights, and then you've got your Heges, which are your pages. Okay. Ten of Fire, Humphrey. Ten of Air. Excuse my hair, little metal just squirted the dog because I may have jumped up at the hose and it all come back on me, so I had to change. Oh, yeah, which is what I was just talking about. So there are your pages. Temperance. Five of Fire. Black Cohosh. Five of Cups is Golden Seal. Five of Earth, Slippery Elm. I love that. Star. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. <laughs> That's a cannabis one. hanged one is burdock. I'm drinking that at the minute. Not on a uh, dandelion and burdock. Death is your marigold. Devil blackberry. The madre of water, so that would be your queen of cups. Queen of pentacles, which is madre of earth. And your Karanda of Fire, which would be your Karanda, what did I say? That was King. But it's a female, so Kings, I suppose they've done them sort of, um, sort of by gender, they can be whoever. And that is Demania. Never heard of that one. Beautiful card, though. Ten of Water. Ten of Earth, Horsetail, Curandera of Water, Seaweed. Seems apt, doesn't it? Nine of Air is your pomegranate. I must say these they do feel quite good. They're quite easy to shuffle, they're not, you know, a lot of people just like card, but I like this. It's like saying if you're out in the garden or the beach or you walk around trying to find some of these new hedgerows or whatever it doesn't really matter if they get sort of a bit sticky or sandy or whatever because you can wipe them these have been wiped anyway i did use some um oh gosh florida water which i always put on my hands when i first get my cards for the dandelion, I love that because once a dandelion blooms, it turns into things that my children they call wishes, which are the little like white ball that when you blow it, it goes off into the air. So, you know, all them little dandelion seeds will be flying around, or all the wishes flying around and landing in different places. So, they're starting off on, on a new adventure, so all the rebirth because their little seeds will fall and then grow more dandelions so I think it's really apt for fall I love them man. I'm sort of learning about herbs at the moment I've got a few in my garden what I bought the other week just your normal sort of starter herbs I guess I've got um, lavender I've had quite a while and I've got, to add to it, I've got lemon balm, um, chamomile, white sage, because I want to make my own smudge sticks and incense. So I've got white sage, i got valerian, because valerian root, you know, is good for you to sleep and relax in. i got chamomile, I think I said that, didn't I? You know, there's others I want. I want 
um, lemongrass and things. Or not I want, I would like to have chariot, cedar. Roots are going out of a circle. Yeah. Going in a new direction. Ace of Earth Metal, Ace of Pentacles. This was my mum's favourite flower. Six of Fire Nasturtium. Borage, Six of Water. Six of Earth Pine, I love this one. I am an earth sign. Um, winter and autumn are my favourite months this month's bit. It's not for me to be fair. But the ground needs it, everybody else needs it, it's not just about me. Peach is the nine of cups. Add litre of earth, which is your night. is cacao lovers is hawthorn I love that I bit like the hand fasting strength is garlic that's definitely strong used for a lot of ailments hermit what is that one was near I don't know what that is. Magician, a sunflower. Love that. Love sunflowers. So beautiful, so happy. White sage. Empress of the Rose. Moon, Datura. Oh yeah, of water, so that is the page of cups. Chamomile, I love that, because that's about learning, you know. You see the adult's hands steady in the, the kettle while teaching the younger one what to do. You know, how to do it. New experiences. New learning. Eight of Earth, turmeric. I love that because that's like a, you know, the eight of pentacles. You've got to put the work in, haven't you, to get the, to the end result. So, to me, you know, they're using the turmeric to make a paste or um, gum sort of thing, putting it in with the water and using it to dye their clothes to varying degrees of what they want. They've got the clothes in, which are white to start. And then they've got that. And there they are on the line, drying got to work for, you know, to achieve the end result, to achieve what you want. And Valerian. Ice of air, yarrow. That's quite scary because to me that sometimes yarrow can look a lot like um, deadly nightshade. So I think you have to be really careful with that. You know, there's sort of imposters, I suppose. Imposters of the plant world and the herb world. And there's barbed wire there as well. Is that keeping it in or keeping us out? Or both? Birch. Add a litre of air, which is oregano. Now, this I find is really. I did read about this one. Apparently, What's happening here is they use some of the herbs and the flowers and they add it to hot water and give themselves um, a vaginal steam bath to help with cleansing and uh, everything. So, yeah, I've read about that. I find that quite quite fascinating. Add a litre of fire, cayenne. Sounds like doesn't it? pepper hot. Add a litre of water. 
Mother of Air, Mother Wart, Mother of Air, says the Queen of Swords. She's clearing the way, she's not messing about. Four of Water, which is Mint. Four of Earth, which is Willow. Seven of Earth, which is Oak, which is my favourite tree. The world is a Pasha Mama. That is beautiful. Eight of Air is Licorice. And the Eight of Fire is Ginger. And take your eye off the ball. And you've got a fire happening there. So yeah, that is a really, really lovely deck. And as I said, it does explain all things to you. Um, and in here it has, uh, at the bottom it can say things, um, where is it? You know, crafting with the higher of air. This is just an example. And that says daughters they're called, not the pages, sorry, they're daughters, and you get two pages, I'm really everyone, and the keyword, return to beginner's mind, first thought, best thought, make mischief with a sleeping cat, and it says crafting with a height of air, try something new, grow catnip in a window pot or a garden, perform a tea ritual with catnip before meditation to return to a beginner's mind, strengthen the psychic bond between you and your familiars, craft a catnip mouse. So it does sort of little things like that on every single cut card. And then at the back, you've got craft activities. Can you see them? You know, you've got like kombucha, oil, oxymel, palm tent, honey, flower essence, cordials, incense, salve, pesto, scrubs, steams, syrup. Tea infusions, tea with flowers and leaves, tea cold infusions, and tea with barks and roots, and also tinctures. It's got a lot of information in here as well, and you've also got some spreads. So, all in all, what do I think of it? It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Um, all my things seem to be positive at the minute, which I'm not moaning about because I'm a positive person anyway. But that is really good you know if you're like me and you want to learn about herbs and you know you want to know how to do things with them and you want to incorporate them into your readings and something that you can take out and about then I think that's really amazing and the information like I said about the the steam bath that's you know this information and things will all, you know keep with you so you're learning I mean, as well as the tarot and the herbs, you're learning other things as well. So, uh, all in all, excellent. I'd advise to buy one more thing, sorry. That's the back of the cards. Alright guys, I will see you soon. Be happy, be safe, be peaceful. Bye.